Good day YouTube, Red Night J here. Little quick video before I jump on my train to Mogai. You might ask, why am I heading to Mogai? Let me tell you, West Highland Way 2015 with Jimmy Goes Wandering. Look at my pack. Ain't that beautiful folks? Anyway, just a quick check in. I'll let you guys know I'm fit. I'm healthy and I'm excited. That's right, Red Night is excited. You know what I'm like? Sometimes I get full of energy, but I'm full of joy right now. Anyway, guys, love y'all. Speak to you soon. Bye bye. So, we eventually found a wee spot to stop. So, let's take a look at the tent first. Eddie's to set up. The MSR. Me with the Van Gogh. And then Jimmy with a pro action. Enjoying a brew. Thanks for the coffee. <laughs> no bother. We had fresh brewed coffee. In fact, let's take a look at this. See, in my last video, I had the Java drip. Here's the Java drip. Fresh coffee, as you can see inside it, with Optimus Crux. Good wee setup. Nice brew. Kind of so, Jimmy, but we are videoing. I've never what you find before, so. As easy as pie. A wee fire for Scott, because he knows I love a fire. So Scott, here's a wee fire for you. That's right, we it's no big, I'm not cutting any trees down. It is just twigs. Hope you like it. So, day one in the camp. West Highland Way. Needless to say, my feet hurt, I've got blisters, and I'm grumpy. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm loving life. I had meatballs for dinner. It was good. Mmm, meatballs. I've got a wee fire on the go. Everybody knows we love a fire. And Scott, it's a wee fire. No tearing down any trees. I've got wee twigs. And it's a controlled fire. Take a look at this. There you go, Scott. That was for you. Bangers Bushcraft. Loves his fire. Knows I love a fire. But this one's contained. Now, in day one, what we've had to do is camp next to this path because there's absolutely nowhere to put our tents up. The woods here are no good for campers. No, no good at all. So if you're thinking of doing the West Highland Way, I'd suggest on day one that what you do is you stick to a campsite. Anyway, guys, quick update. Speak to you soon. So Eddie's playing Hungry Hippos with a fire. Feeding a fire. <laughs> I'm getting smoke in his eye. Yeah. <laughs> smoke is nobody's friend. Mm -mm. Don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but Jimmy's lost it. I thought he was making a video, but he's talking and singing to himself. Wow. So if you were to ask me how I thought this experience would go, I would say it's going to be tough going. Probably cry because I'll be in pain and I'll not want to do it. But needless to say, I'm crying with joy. Now nah, I'm kidding, I've got smoke in my eye. <laughs> but still, seriously, end of day one, it was epic. Really something that I think everyone should try. My pack was a bit heavy, it's about 18 kilos, and well, it doesn't sit very well on my back, so I'm feeling it right across my shoulders. My feet are blistered, they're hurting, but I'd do it again. And needless to say, day two, I'm going to do it again. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. And I'd urge everybody else to go out and give it a try. So, yeah. Happy days. Day one, complete. Now I'm going to go and get a good sleep. I love a good sleep. So responsible fires, Jimmy and Eddie are tidying up the fire. Look at that. Good Looking shit. off day two at Drummond, or Drow Men as Jimmy says. 
<laughs> no, okay, he's sticking the mic out of me. Anyway, we're heading off towards River Denon. Woo! Rivers! River Denon. River, river, river. 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 River Denon. That's a bad boy right there. <laughs> Look at that view. Beautiful. So day two, halfway up Connick Hill. Walking poles are out, but life's good. We stopped for a wee bit of water. There's Jimmy at the top, looking happy. Just wanted to take a quick moment to enjoy the scenery and show you guys it. It's beautiful. Just behind me is Loch Lomond, but it's a bit of a hill, so I'm not going to be able to show you that. I just wanted to share something with you guys that go down to your local woods. Take a look behind me. That's awesome. Literally a couple hours walk from the civilization, <laughs> and look what you've got. So. Next time you think of it going down to your local woods, picture this. Biggest burger I've ever seen. Right in front of Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy goes wandering, about to fill his belly. And I'm gonna have a bad boy. So, day two. Didn't bother doing any footage of along the way because it was just too nice. I had to enjoy it for myself. Anyway, as you can see, Jimmy's making a wee baroo. Peppermint. Peppermint tea. That's his tent in the back there. We're quite lucky. We've came to a campsite and we've got a pitch each. So we've got plenty of room. But that's not why we're lucky. We're lucky because we're right on the beach. Look at that. Right on the shores of Loch Lomond. Now, in the next hour or so, the sun's going to be going down. Look at that. It's already coming right across the lock. Absolutely beautiful. Now, you're sitting at home and you're watching this, and I can tell you're itching to get out. You've got to be. I mean, look at that. Look look where we're camped. We're camped right on the beach of Loch Lomond. Exactly. You don't even need to say anything about it. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to let you see Jimmy having his wee brew and a Snickers by the looks of it. And I'm going to go and chill out. Catch us all later. Bye bye. Hey. Coolest thing watching ducks dive under the water and then go for a wee swim and pop back up way along the lock. Yeah, like submarines. Little German U. Breakfast of the day. Squeeze and stir Heinz cream of tomato soup. Mm. Check that out. Absolutely beautiful. What a nice morning. Day three, we're just about to leave Solorke Bay. Maybe another 10 miles and we'll be right up past Loch Lomond. Right into the wild camping areas. Mmm, yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd show you this. Spectacular. So I'm halfway through day three. I've had to take a seat, I'm knackered. The Bergen's not very comfy, but hey, YOLO. Hey YouTube, it's the end of day three, life's good. We're heading for the Bothy and we've ended up a wee bit past that, so that's good. If you check out James's video, it's probably going to show you a wee bit more detail about where we are. I just wanted to let everyone know, I'm alive and I'm kicking, my feet hurt and I smell, it's awesome. Hey, any night ever. So look at that behind me, absolutely beautiful.
So, when I was lying in my tent last night, something that I realised. I now know the difference between being tired and being exhausted. When we got back, set up tent, I crashed like a baby. And it wasn't because I was tired, I was exhausted. So, yeah, there's something that I learnt for the day. What have you learnt for today? That's my question. <laughs> Oh, boy. There's Jimmy heading off into the sunset. Hey guys, as you can see, the snow is brutal. Now, I'm going to let you see the expression on Jimmy's face looking out at that snow. As you can see, it's no brutal for us. We have got a hoose. We've got a hoose somewhere out of the snow. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Redneck Jay? Hey guys, Redneck Jay here. I just wanted to share something with you. Today we hit the 50% marker. That's right, we've crossed the halfway period. We're on our way to Fort William. Oh yeah. We've hit about 50 miles, I'd say. Aye, we're probably about the 50 mile marker. And well, we got here about 12 o'clock today. We absolutely heard it up the road. We've got a nice wee sight. Yes, we did. By the way, and I'm not saying by the way as in the Scottish sense. I mean by the way, that's a campsite. And we've camped just in this beautiful little place outside Tindrum. So, I'm Scottish. What do you do when it's 12 o'clock in the day and you've got your accommodation sorted? What you do is you hit the pub. That's right, guys. Me and Jimmy goes wandering. We hit the pub. So we did. It's now about 8.30 in the evening. And I'm going to hit the showers because... 8 hours in the pub. Aye. You all know how that ended. Anyway guys, good evening. God bless. So guys, a wee update for you. 50 miles down the road. And life's good. Feet are suffering, shoulders are suffering, but that's to be expected. Scenery is outstanding. It really is absolutely beautiful. Now, the plan was to wire camp the whole way, but Today the heavens opened and the snow came down. I've not got any down kit with me, so what I've had to do is bunk up in this wee place. Now we've got a trekker's hut, which is basically a four bed hut. Take a look around. Pretty amazing! And me and Jimmy have got that to ourselves. So yeah, life's pretty good. Went to the pub today, had a few pints, chilling out. Gonna crack on again tomorrow. Anyway, guys, just a quick update to let you know how everything's going. Speak to you soon.